So I was at the store today and they had these banana peppers that were on sale for $1.99. I think I got eight in the pack for $1.99. And that's a reasonably good deal. So I'm going to show you what I do when I find deals like this on food. Uh, I always freeze and IQ up. And this, this thing is about, I'd say, eight, nine inches long. So it's a pretty good sized pepper. Um, so when I find a good deal like that, what I do is I go ahead and buy it. And then if I can't dehydrate it, which these are not really good dehydrated, so I'm just going to freeze these. And I think I had told you in another video, I would show you how to IQF. And that's what this is. Individually quick freeze is what that stands for. So what I did was I cut up all the potatoes. I'm sorry, the peppers. So this afternoon when I was shopping, I discovered these peppers. And these are banana peppers. And they were on sale. They're, they're very big peppers. I'll just show you. I laid it on the table. See, they're... <laughs> Very big peppers or very long peppers, about eight or nine inches long each. And when I find a deal like that, there's like eight of these for a dollar ninety nine, I think is what it was, which is really cheap if you think about it. So what I do is I take these and if I can't dehydrate them, which these will not dehydrate well, so I usually will freeze peppers and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we call that IQF, which is individually quick freeze. So I have a 15 inch roasting pan here that I've lined with some parchment and all I've done is I've sliced these peppers and you know, I cut them in half and then I slice them and you just want to lay them out so that they are in a single layer and you don't really want them to touch a lot, but it's okay if, if something like this does, it's okay because you can break them apart before you put them into a bag. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the freezer and let it let them freeze probably overnight and then tomorrow morning i'll put them into ziploc bags and we'll have them for storage so i'm going to place these in the freezer and we're going to shut the lid on these and you don't need to cover them unless you, you know, if you really want to cover them or you're paranoid about stuff like that you can cover them but you don't have to and we will check back in the morning so these are the peppers after they have been frozen and you just want to take this sheet and you can see they'll break apart really kind of easily and I've had them sitting out for just a moment to make sure they're all kind of not breaking up or anything and the smell just kind of intensifies with these so I'm taking a gallon size freezer bag. I'm just going to place them right in there. Put just a little bit and I think I can get the rest of them out. They're starting to fall so I'll really get them back in the freezer. And then once you've got them in your bag, want to make sure that you've written the what you have and what the date is on the outside of your bag and then if you want to get an air seal on it without having a having to buy one of those machines you take a straw plain little everyday straw and you want to start closing the bag up close it all the way across but leave a little opening right here at the end. We're going to slide this straw right in here. And now we're going to take all the air out, just inhale straight out of it. You want to go down, not really touching the feed, but you want to make sure you got the straw in there. And then just take the air out, make sure you pinched all the way across. Then pull the straw out and close the bag. Now we have a nice airtight seal. And all we have to do is take these and throw them in the freezer. And they'll be good for about three months. Frozen. 
And here's a couple of other items that I do this with. These are bananas, and I take and freeze those. Of course, you've probably seen my video with the smoothies. And then here we've got strawberries, and I've done the same thing with that. Just buy them when they're on sale. And uh, there's something to be said for produce that, like these bananas, um, there's nothing wrong with these bananas. These bananas will be good probably for another two weeks. But they've marked them down, as you can see on the price here. They're $1.79 for all these bananas. So if you buy them like this and then just take them, you can let them ripen a little more if you want to, but just take them out of their peels and do the same thing I just did. Put them on a tray with a liner, um, some parchment paper. And all you do is slice them. You want them thick, you want them thin, or how you want them to be, or you can do them whole, uh, whatever floats your boat. And then all you do, put them in the freezer, let them freeze, and then take them out, put them in freezer bags. Now, I don't recommend using just storage bags. They need to be freezer bags. And just say that on the box to make sure that you are getting them at the at something that is for that purpose because you don't want to take chances with freezing food and getting sick. And these are fresh items, so you're going to want to make sure that you handle them correctly. And always, before you do any of this stuff, either use gloves, wash your hands before you put the gloves on, please. And that will help you to stay sanitary to this process. These will usually hold three to four months in the freezer. And if you look at them, they start getting brown. You might want to go ahead and use them if you start seeing them change color or anything like this. But these are some that I did. The bananas I did just a, they've been in there like a month and a half maybe, and they're perfectly, mm, perfectly still good, <laughs> sorry, those are still perfectly good, and you can have these as a snack, or you can use them for recipes. And put them in salads if you have like a, a fruit salad or something you want to add bananas to then just take some of these and toss in there and they're already cold and as they thaw they're gonna just have a better flavor when you freeze them their flavor kind of concentrates and as you eat them afterwards you'll see they get a lot sweeter and they have a lot more flavor so any questions you have please post those in the comments and i'll be more than happy to answer them and i hope that this has helped you just a little bit, and this is a good way to save some money for, especially right now with inflation, everything costs them what it does. If you catch a sale on something, mango, um, any produce item, uh, only thing I'm gonna say is if you're doing apples, you wanna treat them with either some uh, lemon juice and water or vitamin C and water, and you wanna make sure that you get the vitamin C powder if you do that so it will dissolve, and that's gonna keep those from turning brown. And you can freeze those the same way. You just want to treat them first and then, you know, let them kind of, but you, want to, you don't want them to touch when you do that because the water will freeze to them and you'll have a mess. But yes, you can definitely do this to so many different fruits and vegetables. So I encourage you to use this technique in your home so that you can save some money for your family. And also you'll have plenty of fresh food around. So it's kind of ready. It's convenience food, really, if you think about it. You pull it out of the freezer and you got a snack. So thank you for joining me today and I hope that this has helped you. And if you got questions or comments again, just leave those down below and I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.